एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग दिस इज मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास रिसेंटली आई एडेड अ न्यू प्लेलिस्ट फॉर एडवांस एज यूर वर्चुअल डेस्कटॉप कोर्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड टू आर थ्री डिफरेंट वीडियोस ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्ले लिस्ट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोसीड फॉर द नेक्स्ट स्टेप राइट इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ टू सेट अप अवर एवीडी होस्ट पूल बट वी हैवन डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ होस्ट पुल्स आर अवेलेबल राइट so in this class i am giving you complete information about avd host pool first i'll give you the details about services those services can help you to manage our vdi solution virtual desktop interface solution over a azure portal so let's proceed and talk about the different types of host pool and then we'll discuss about the components of azure virtual desktop so i'm moving ourselves to the screen and give you the complete information before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time please do subscribe your on youtube channel teach me cloud because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step so we are on page of advanced uh, azure virtual desktop training this is uh, now we are on uh, our desktop screen avd host pool right the agenda of this class avd host pool and we'll also discuss about avd core services right so let me help you to understand about what is avd host pool as per the name suggests the meaning of host you can consider it as a rack as a server that is established by azure in backend as a customer whenever we set up our virtual machine with multiple session or dedicated virtual machine to access by individual user at at same time each and every types of virtual machines establish in the backend by using the high configuration of machine they never disclose about the application that they use in the backend because you know that if we talk about the host so esxi host come in our mind and a hypervisor come in mind and zen server of citrix but the azure never disclose which types of application they use to establish their host our responsibility to just understand about the avd host pool we'll discuss about the avd host pool and after that we'll give you the details about the number of services which are available in avd host pool so basically host pool is categorized in two different part avd host pool is categorized in two different part one is personal and the second one is shared right and the second important point the shared pool is also categorized in two different part one is breath first and the second one is depth first so you can see that the shared pool is categorized in two different part breath first and depth first now question what is gap between shared and uh, personal pool as per the name suggest whenever we set up our host pool whenever we set up our virtual machine using the personal pool it means that you decided to set up our virtual machine using personal pool so in case the host pool can provide you dedicated virtual machine right you want to share the desktop for three different users and you proceed it with the help of personal like the user that you created with abc xyz and test these three different user you establish in your ad and the same users you synchronize with our avd host pool whenever we set up our virtual machine using the personal pool you must need to assign individual virtual machine to individual user right this is the personal personal pool of avd second important point about the shared pool the meaning of shared pool as per the name suggest you establish one virtual machine using a shared pool it will give you the multiple session 
द ए बी सी यूजर एक्स वाई जी यूजर एंड टेस्ट यूजर ऑल द यूजर्स आर एबल टू एक्सेस सेम वर्चुअल मशीन एट अ सेम टाइम इफ वी डोंट हैव अ इनफ बजट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट मच अमाउंट टू इस्टेब्लिश योर ए वी डी इन्वायरमेंट आर वट वी कैन से दैट इन केस ऑफ वी डी आई सोल्यूशन यू कैन प्रोसीड विद द पर्सनल द शेयर्ड पूल बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ शेयर पूल यू नीड टू क्रिएट वन वर्चुअल मशीन एंड एक्सेस विद मल्टीपल यूजर एट अ सेम टाइम सेकेंड Talk about the gap between breathe first and depth first. So, what exactly happen in breathe first and depth first? For example, you want to set up ten uh, user, or you want to create a virtual machine for ten different sessions. The meaning of session: the number of users can access your virtual machine at the same time, consider as a session, and. to provide the access of 10 different user you decided to create three virtual machine means three vm applicable to provide their desktop to 10 different user at a same time if you proceed with breathe first what exactly happen the virtual machines come into the picture like this if entire 10 different user can access your virtual machine only one virtual machine is live right only one virtual machine is working properly and the number of users are able to access the session now the cpu consumption is increased by the, the cpu and ram consumption automatically increase increasing so what exactly happen the second virtual machine will also come into the picture it's based on the upon the usage like the cpu usage is more than 75% then second virtual machine will automatically work as a load balancer this is the meaning of breathe first the concept of depth depth first the meaning of depth first is basically correlated to the entire three virtual machines available in a cluster means you can say that parallelly entire machines are available in parallel format whenever you try to access the machine by using different different user from multiple session so it means that in depth first entire virtual machines are live and uh, they are responsible to manage the load of our users if anyone any user trying to access the session of our virtual machine this is the actual work of uh, shared pool personal pool breathe first and depth first i hope you guys are able to understand about the concept of this point now let's move ourselves to the another topic avd host pool services core services you can say that the avd host pool core services are the first one is host pool second important point application group third one is work space number 4 auto scaling number 5 users management i hope you guys are able to understand alert and monitor right so these all are the components you will find in case of properties of our avd host pool in case of the services of avd host pool and our responsibility as a avd engineer as a avd administrator it's our responsibility we must need to know about the usage of these core services or core services of our azure virtual desktop host pool i'll give you the complete information with practical that you can understand about the concept how we can manage our avd host pool environment so that's it for today's session guys i hope you all of you able to understand about the concept of avd environment and i'll give you the practical of these services in our upcoming session that's it for today guys thank you so much and take care and please do subscribe your on youtube channel teach me cloud bye bye guys